Recently, rap's biggest superstar Drake has had allegations of having work done, but my question is this. Unlike women celebrities, why does it seem like nobody cares if he's had plastic surgery? Oh, it's such a beautiful day. BBL Drizzy called his mommy on me. In today's video, we'll talk about the double standard that women face when they get work done, why nobody cares when men get cosmetic surgeries, and make some jokes along the way. I hope you enjoy the video. ...and post photos of Drake besides growing a beard. His body looks pretty different, at least to my eyes. Besides getting a little bit better shape, I think he's had some liposuction. I can see some asymmetry in his stomach. It may just be the shadowing, but it's hard to tell. Kind of looks like he might have had some male gladiator type etching on his abdomen. Doesn't quite look symmetric or completely natural. He may have had a little bit of gynecomastia surgery, but definitely had, I think, some sort of male liposuction and, and male contouring uh, in combination with gynecomastia procedure. I made this video because Drake has been a rap beef and one of the rappers, Rick Ross, mentioned that Drake has had a nose job in a BBL and Rick Ross isn't alone. Other rappers have accused Drake of having work done like liposuction. You're irrelevant when it comes to beefing with Drake. And Joe Budden responds, irrelevant rappers better or are better than rappers who get lipo. This seems to be an open secret in the music industry. Everybody says and claims that Drake has had work done. But why does nobody care? Some quick evidence for this, if you type in Drake's name and Kim Kardashian's name on uh, Google Trends, Kim K will always be higher. This goes to show that people really aren't searching for it. They really don't care about the topic. It's not big, while Kim K and other women celebrities are bigger than him when it comes to plastic surgery. For women, this seems to be the exact opposite. There are viral TikToks guessing who did what, when and where. There are viral YouTube videos going over the cosmetic history of these celebrities. Everybody seems to care when women get done and they love speculating and finding out the truth of the matter. So much so that it's literally became a meme. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. And this is even weird because it's not like men aren't getting work done. For example, when I started going bald, the ADHD took over and I started hyper fixating on people's hairlines. I was like a bloodhound for hair transplants. LeBron. Okay, since a lot of the hairs from the back of the head have been used up, I'm bringing the hairline down and creating something very low. Speaking of hair transplants, have you ever noticed how male celebrities don't go bald anymore? That's because they're all getting them, allegedly. Allegedly! 80% of men by the time they're 50 will undergo some form of hair loss. But if you look at Hollywood, it looks like a forest and trees. Looks like a man in his 50s is actually his 20s if you were just looking at his hairline. And to be clear, this isn't a slant to Drake or any other celebrity who gets work done. Best believe when I get enough money, I'm gonna make my hotline bling to Dr. Miami. Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Can you record me real quick? Mm-mm, get somebody else to do it. That was corny, I'm sorry. But the point is, is that men, unlike women, realistically get a pass. Nobody cares or points out our hair transplant unless you're going bald and you start to hyper fixate on it. Nobody goes around and asks us and question us and investigates us if we had work done, even though a lot of men in Hollywood have. Women are the complete opposite. They don't get a pass. Take Meg the Stallion, for example. People love to debate if she's had a BBL, if she's had work done, if she's all natural, all natural. Her body has been the focus of thousands of hours of discussion. Kim Kardashian and the Kardashian family is another one. Hours of discussion if Kim is morally responsible for ruining the body image of teenage girls. This video will not speak on whether that's true or whether it's not. That's something that I personally cannot answer, but what I can do is say that men are not held to the same standard. For example, when Kanye admitted that he'd had liposuction, nobody was like, Kanye, how could you? You promoted bad body standards for men. Oh my God, I cannot be a fan of you anymore. There was no essays. There were no uh, talking points. There were no discussions about Kanye ruining the image for young men. And that's interesting. Everybody just made fun of him. Everybody chose just to make fun of him and call him unmanly for having liposuction. And that's interesting. I had plastic surgery because I was trying to look good for y'all. I got liposuction. Why are men not held to the same standard of morals and criticism when it comes to getting work done? And there's two reasons for that. But to explain the two reasons, we first have to understand why women watch this type of content and talk about it. I'm not a woman, so I can't really answer these questions. So I asked my community and the responses seem to be they watch plastic surgery content because it helps them understand the dangers and risk of getting it done. And some people watch it because they're tired of Kim Kardashian and other celebrities being called the beauty standard and then they're not really that beautiful in real life. They're just photoshopped and plastic surgery. Not gonna lie, the older I get, the more I watch these types of videos. I used to model, but I never hit a big runway because I wasn't willing to do what it takes, you know, plastic surgery, to achieve the perfect look. 
The wealthy have taken over the beauty industry with all of the above, and then lie and gaslight poor women with natural faces and bodies. Now social media, modern technology, and better cameras are showing how they really look. Good. Does that make me a hater? Maybe. But me and these forehead wrinkles are willing to live with that. But men don't really have these conversations. None of this really happens in men's circles. And that gets to the first reason why that men are not held to the same beauty standard or talk about beauty in the same way is because men don't really care about it or pay attention to it. It's not like men are not having these conversations. It's just not happening around the topic of beauty. For example, in the fitness community, there are literally series called Natty or Not, where fitness YouTubers go around and check bodybuilders if they're natural or using enhancements. They literally spend videos going over test work, going over if their physique is natural, like if it could happen in that time span like really investigating these guys it seems really similar to what women watch with their plastic surgery content it's not that men are incapable of having these conversations they just don't care about beauty the same way that women do they see beauty as feminine coded and therefore don't care about it where they care about strength because it's masculine coded in fact when you look at the insults that kanye and drake get they're not calling them fake or not beautiful or a fraud they're more so calling them unmasculine comparing themselves to women they're saying plastic surgery is for women you're a man stop acting like that that has nothing to do with being fake so this is kind of sad i can't speak for all women but like a lot of us sort of grew up during this like bbl era and seeing people with these bbl bodies and these perfect faces and when i was in middle school i kid you not my idea of a perfect body was like Nicki minaj so you can only imagine what that does to like a young developing mind so sometimes seeing them look like a bit of a mess when you're feeling insecure can feel better um like a long time ago i found out that a guy that i liked was following models and no joke I looked over all of their posts, like every time they would post, I was like obsessively like checking to see where they had photoshopped these pictures. And that's not because I disliked these women or I wanted to see their downfall or anything. It just kind of gave me some kind of reassurance of like, okay, at least that's not actually attainable. But men don't really do that. We don't compare our beauty like that. People are jealous of Drake, sure, but they're more so jealous of his money, his cars and success. They don't look like, oh, I hope Drake gains 20 pounds so he can't pull any women. It doesn't really work that way. Guys don't view men that way. So it doesn't matter if Drake got a nose job. It doesn't matter if Drake got liposuction because they're not comparing themselves to that. They're more so comparing the status, the money, the cars and how they get women. And so when Drake pops out with a six pack in like three months, it's not a big story. Nobody really cares about it because men don't really care about have discussions about beauty. It's not that important to us. But before we move on to the final reason why women are treated differently than men when they get plastic surgery and nobody talks about Drake's, I first want to go over two counter examples. Firstly, let's talk about looks maxing. You might have seen this trending on YouTube recently. A lot of creators have talked about it. You might think that men care about beauty at equal rates of women because this look max thing has become popular but i would argue that this is a pretty new thing when i was a kid this wasn't a thing on the internet it was really niche and wasn't a big thing on the internet outside of tiktok if you were just on twitter or whatever a lot of men wouldn't even know what that is this is a whole different conversation for a different day but as more and more women raise their standards because they don't have to depend on a man and can demand things out of them more and more men will probably fall and feel pressure to beauty standards like look maxing and other things and that's why you're starting to see the trends rise in my opinion so it's possible in like 10 or 20 years there will be a channel where men go after other men for having plastic surgery and lying about it because they feel as pressured as women do to fit a beauty standard secondly i want to talk about zach efron because he's the only man that i've noticed who's ever gotten outrage or people make fun of him for getting plastic surgery i still feel like this is not a good argument because the main people who were making fun of him and were talking about it were women or that's at least what i saw most most men were not calling him fake and authentic. They were kind of laughing at him for getting it in the first place because remember back to what I said, they're like, oh, only women get plastic surgery. But it's just not the same way that women are made fun of when they get plastic surgery. And that leads us into the final reason why men and women are treated differently when they get plastic surgery. It's because while men don't care about beauty for other men, they do care about it for women, unfortunately. I was talking to my friend about this and she said that beauty for women is a kind of currency. It's a proven fact that if you're a woman and you're hotter, you get better jobs, you probably get treated better i know some women who personally only hang around other beautiful women for men this is simply not the case i don't hang around other men if they're beautiful i know other men who hang around men who are wealthy trying to like become wealthy 
that's that's a thing that happens, but not beauty. And so women are uniquely judged for getting plastic surgery because it feels like a betrayal of this social currency, like you're faking it. If you look at the podcast bros who make fun of women who get plastic surgery, what are they saying? They're saying they're fake and authentic. Fake hair extensions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fake who, personalities. Wait, wait, There's no, nothing real wait, about these girls. No one's happy with who they are. No. Isn't that unbelievable? It's so sad. No, it's f***ing pathetic. No guy has ever say that's what I want. I no, no. wish all the girls had <laughs> fake Wait, lips. No, but I don't like that. They like fake. Every <clears throat> woman listening guys to don't this like podcast. It. Compare that to how men are treated when they get stuff done. Nobody's going to call me fake or not a real person when I get my hairline did. Nobody calls Drake or Kanye fake and not real people because they got liposuction, allegedly. And it goes back to what I said earlier. We're made fun of, sure, but we're made fun of for being feminine and caring about it in the first place. We're not made fun of and called fake because we got it. This goes to an even deeper level, right? A lot of women find strength and independence from their beauty. So when people want to tear them down and cast out on their career, like Meg Thee Stallion, for example, they don't say that she's a bad person who's done bad things who you shouldn't trust. They instead go after her beauty and imply that she's not natural, that she's faking it. This is completely different from how men are treated. When people want to make fun of Drake, they don't talk about his liposuction or his BBL. They talk about how he has ghostwriters, how he's lying in his music, how he's not really a tough guy, how he's sweet and kind and gentle. Nobody makes fun of Kanye for getting liposuction. They instead make fun of him for all the crazy stuff he says. Plenty of men in Hollywood have these things done and nobody cares, nobody brings it up. But as soon as women do something bad, well then we go to their looks. We claim that they're not authentic, that they're not real, that they're not natural. We're claiming that their social currency is fake and that they have no value as a person. Just like how as a man, a lot of our social value is based off of our money, wealth, how much we own, how many cars we have, and also a lot of the women that we've been with. So when people want to make fun of a man, you never got with her, you're not really rich, you live in a rented house, you don't even own your car, they go after personal things that they've done. With women, that's not the case. I'm putting this in because I just remembered it, but Andrew Tate, when he was in prison, it was so obvious that he had a failed hair transplant. People made fun of him originally for that, but since then, like since that moment, nobody cares. Like nobody brings it up, it's not a big deal, right? However, and I'm not saying these two are similar or have done similar bad things, please don't comment that, that's annoying. But Kim Kardashian, whenever she does something wrong, people bring up her looks, how she's plastic surgery, how she's fake. She has a fake body. They don't go to the personal level of how bad of a person she is or how she has no empathy. It's always about her looks. It always goes to her looks. And Andrew is not. I'm putting this at the end because I don't know how to explain it yet, but there's something special that happens with women who are already naturally beautiful. When they get something cosmetic done, the level of outrage that they get is not comparable to regular people or even beautiful men. You might argue that it's not a gender thing. Well, you're wrong. If you look at the Google trends for Zac Efron and the girl who played Starfire and the boys, you would expect them to be similar if it wasn't a gendered issue. Well, again, it's not. Obviously, people cared more about the girl getting it. Last Lastly, I wanted to say, I don't think any person who creates these plastic surgery videos who goes over them is a bad person. I think it clearly offers something good to people and helps a lot of people process how they deal with their uh, self-esteem and how they view themselves as a person. And I think that's obviously objectively a good thing. You can argue that the way they go about it is kind of mean, but that's not for me to decide. God knows I'm not a saint. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click here for the next one. Have a great day.